key epoxy crack filler is the trucking industry's go-to solution for the repair of gouges and delaminations in wood truck trailer floors. Applying crack filler involves three easy steps. One, inspecting and preparing the floor. Two, mixing the crack filler. Three, applying the crack filler. The crack filler kit includes the crack filler, latex gloves, stir stick, application blade, and instructions. You will need to provide a screwdriver to open containers, a shop vac, and a piece of chalk. For the very best results, take five minutes to read the instructions included in the kit. Before application, store the crack filler at 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 24 hours. If the work area is less than 65 degrees, warm the trailer beforehand with a torpedo heater. Remove the heater from the trailer before starting the job. The temperature must be between 65 and 85 degrees when you apply crack filler. At higher temperature, the product will cure before the installation is complete. Crack filler will not cure properly if the temperature is colder. Now here's how to repair a truck trailer floor using crack filler. Step 1. Inspecting and preparing the floor. Begin with a thorough inspection of the trailer floor. Structurally unsound boards must be repaired. Replace any missing or broken boards and screw down loose ones. Clean the entire trailer floor by vacuuming and removing any loose dirt from cracks and delaminations. If the area to be repaired has any oil buildup, it will be necessary to steam clean that part of the floor and allow it to dry thoroughly. Steam cleaning may leave a fuzzy surface that can be removed with a quick, light sanding. Next, close the trailer door and walk the floor, locating and marking daylight gaps or through holes. Step 2. Mixing Crack Filler Here's how to mix crack filler. Open both containers of crack filler, one part A and one part B. Pour the material from part B into the part A container. Then mix until the material is a uniform color. The crack filler is now ready for application with a putty knife. If you are doing a spot repair or need a small quantity, the amount you need can measure out in equal volumes, part B to part A. We suggest that a piece of cardboard or scrap board be used as a pallet for measuring and mixing. Use within 30 minutes of mixing, or in less time on a hot day. 3. Applying the crack filler. Apply by using the application blade to push crack filler into gaps, gouges, and holes. Don't spread the crack filler too widely beyond the repair area. Any excess can be easily cleaned up by using a commercially available solvent before it cures. For heavily damaged floors that require sectioning, crack filler is ideal for sealing the gap between the existing floor and the new section. Forcing crack filler into the gap will complete the sectioning repair. When it cures, the crack filler will effectively seal the new and old floors, forming an impenetrable bond between them. If the trailer floor is being prepared for complete restoration using Key Polymer Floor Restore, you can proceed immediately with the Floor Restore application. There is no need to wait for the crack filler to dry. Key Polymer Crack Filler, the unique, technical solution for the repair of gouges, gaps, and through holes in wooden trailer and straight truck floors. To locate your nearest dealer, or if you have questions, please call 978-683-9411 or email us at sales at keypolymer.com. For complete details on all Key Polymer products, visit keytransportationproducts.com. Key Polymer Crack Filler, the smart, economical way to repair and extend the life of your dry van trailer investment.